Yo, what is going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. So, here we are again, discussing our beloved Ghost Recon franchise, and as I've contemplated some of the mechanics we've discussed to improve upon the franchise, I began to realize that there are a lot of mechanics that Ubisoft has created that can really be fleshed out, improved upon, and utilized in a more realistic and engaging manner. So in this video, we're going to discuss the Weapon Mastery System. A lot of us may consider the Weapon Mastery System to be a good mechanic, but created in a boring fashion. Let's be honest, it's not much fun to acquire skill points in a tactical shooter to put into a talent tree that then makes your character better. There's a lack of connection between what the player does and how the character improves. With the Weapon Mastery System, there were three areas of expertise that the player could improve upon with their extra skill points. With enough skill points, the player could improve their accuracy with their weapon class, their handling with their weapon class, and their mobility with their weapon class. Now I think this was a great addition to the Ghost Recon franchise, and gave Ghost Recon Breakpoint a lot more depth as to how you wanted your character to improve with a specific weapon class. However, there were so many skill points in the game, this system became just another checklist as players filled up the entire skill tree after acquiring enough skill points. So I recognize that Ubisoft is capable of making the mechanics we need for Ghost Recon to thrive as a tactical shooter, they just need to implement them in a different fashion. Now it's no secret that game developers attempt to create systems that are fun, engaging, and keep the player playing the game for hours on end for possible future MTX and DLC profitability. For Ubisoft with Ghost Recon Breakpoint, they thought taking RPG mechanics with loot could create a type of gameplay that kept players playing by searching for better loot to make their characters stronger. This was the biggest mistake they could have made and it showcased how far off they were with understanding the Ghost Recon franchise and the Ghost Recon community. So take for instance this weapon mastery system. Players do not want to acquire skill points from missions and treasure chests and place them in a skill tree. Rather, they want their weapons to improve organically in these areas as they use them. For example, if a player is to use the M4A1 for a long duration of time, mission after mission, the game should automatically improve upon their accuracy with the weapon, their handling with the weapon, and their mobility with the weapon. A good comparison example of this would be the systems in GTA. As you run and sprint during the game, eventually your character's stamina automatically upgrades and improves, and GTA has many of these abilities that seem to improve just by you playing the game. As far as tactical shooters on the market, Escape from Tarkov showcases a mastery system and improves upon your use of each weapon the more you use it. Simple. So for Ghost Recon, if the underlying system is already implemented and working, all they would need to do is change the skill-based system to a use-based system and implement that use-based system per weapon. Now, you have a game in which players would actively want to upgrade their weapon mastery by actually using the weapon. This is a completely different philosophy from the loot-based system which tried to force players to upgrade and change their weapons depending on which weapon had a higher loot value and better rolled stats while grinding and deconstructing weapons for weapon parts to create a new identical weapon with the hopes that it rolled the better stats they wanted. Moving away from that, now you would allow players to just choose their weapon and improve upon that weapon as they play with it master that weapon, and then continue that path with each weapon in the game. To further flesh out this system, developers could deduct certain mastery points from certain weapon abilities depending on if they created a weight system. Kit your character out with lots of gear and lots of weapon attachments, and you could see a negative effect on your weapon's accuracy, handling, and mobility. Change a particular attachment on the weapon and the weapon's mastery abilities could decrease depending on the weapon attachment. Thus, upgrading weapons along with attachments creates a system where players are upgrading not only the weapon, but the weapon alongside the plethora of attachments each weapon can attach. It's a system that can create replayability just on the weapon side alone. That's ignoring every other game loop mechanic created for the game. This is how a weapon mastery system should operate in my opinion, but the question is, does Ubisoft recognize that this weapon mastery system is a vital mechanic, 
And will they tweak the original weapon mastery system we see in Ghost Recon Breakpoint to fit this more tactical shooter experience? We'll have to wait and find out, I suppose. So, Ghosts, what tweaks would you make with the weapon mastery system from Ghost Recon Breakpoint for a new Ghost Recon game? What would you like to see Ubisoft Paris do with the weapon mastery system moving forward? Let me know in the comments below and we'll discuss this vital mechanic and see if we can flesh out some great ideas. Alright ghosts, that's all for now. Everyone have a great day and I will see you all in the next video.